Welcome back, everybody. We have this beautiful family joining us here this morning uh, to talk about a rare disease, a genetic neurological disorder, and they're hoping to tackle it head on, turning into a train of hope. So Ian, Shelley, Carp, their son Jackson, and then Christine also joining us all this morning. Good to see all of you. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so let's talk about this, uh, the disease itself, for people who don't know. Uh, tell us what Jackson was diagnosed with. I'm already going to crack it. Oh. <laughs> so sorry. Um, when Jackson was four years old, um, mm -hmm. when we were living in the central coast of California, mm -hmm. we went up and we got a diagnosis of uh, Tay-Sex, which is a neurological uh, degenerative uh, disease. Yes. And at the time, they told us that he, we would be lucky if he reached the age of five. Wow. A couple days ago, he just turned nine. Okay. So, so. Well, happy Erson. birthday to Jackson. Yes. I'm glad to see you. And him. as you see, yeah. we are on camera and, right, and that was my first time on a motorcycle. Okay. Or yeah. Riding. Yeah, because okay. you're here to talk about the train of hope. It's something yes. that we want everybody to come out and support uh, so people can oh. get on those motorcycles. Tell us, what are you hoping to see this Saturday? Lots of people. Yeah. Um, Lots of awareness. It's an ultra rare disease, mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't know about it. Um, and so we're Mom, trying to do a poker crying. run and let people know what Tay-Sex is, that it exists. They need to check for it, Mom, um, raise crying. money in hopes that we can get a cure because there's nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. and just have a lot of fun. Yeah, have fun on a motorcycle, which I know you will. <laughs> I know, I'm sure, Jelly, I know this is so hard to talk about. Obviously, you don't want anyone to go through this, especially Jackson, but to see him nine years old, how does that make you feel? I mean, each birthday is, must be feeling like a miracle. It's, it's awesome, and he's yeah. a sweet boy. Yeah. Mom, stop crying. <laughs> She's got emotions. I totally understand. I can feel for you. Um, so, yeah, of course, we want to get the word out because having a rare disease, there are so many other challenges that come with a disease that would be hard for research for mm -hmm. cures tell us about that what have you gone through as far as any trials I mean what can be done there, there are some clinical trials that are okay. going on um, and they are they are in the first and second phase of some of these trials so with the knowing that it is an ultra rare which means it's very low um, community as it is in the entire world um, you're talking about something that is very rare around the world. Yeah. So uh, because of that, there is not a lot of opportunity um, because it's so rare that these people have problems getting into these trials. Yeah, right? he Which has. The, yeah, he has been to the NIH um, back when we first found out, thanks to National Tay Sachs and Allied Diseases for the connection. Um, he spent a whole week and basically got documented mm -hmm. so that they can potentially track him and track the progression of the disease. Okay. So far, he's doing a lot better than a lot of the other kids. Okay. Um, there is a local boy um, about 15 minutes away from us that we keep in contact with, mm -hmm. and he may or may not be at our poker run. I see. But it's also nice to show that it's just not, it's not just him, mm -hmm. and he's actually, he's more coherent than a lot of the other kids. Okay. And you think about all of San Diego, there's another local boy that there's only two then that you know of? That we know of. That's and how rare it is. Another, another one. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, we are, have just a few more seconds. I want to make sure everybody knows the details on this ride. Uh, tell us what time, where it's going to be. It's starting out at El Cajon Harley. Um, Kickstands up at around 10 o'clock, out of there by 1030. And you're traveling out through Hamul, the oh. back roads. And landing at the Coronado Beach Harley Davidson, which is in National City, but they have a rooftop deck. We'll have okay. some entertainment. We'll have um, food. We'll have raffle prize uh, opportunity drawings. Mm -hmm. Okay. 50/50, um, mm -hmm. and it should just be a lot of fun. <laughs> You're enjoying this. seeing yourself on TV, aren't you? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and you can tell his sister has a good relationship with her brother. Yeah, they, they love each other. <laughs> they do. <laughs> And, I mean, really, your family is so strong and brave. I know it's hard to talk about these things, but you know the importance of getting the word out. And that's what we're hoping to do as well, because we really want a lot of people out there. Uh, do you need to have a Harley to take part in this? No, no, we don't okay. Even. okay. Yeah, we, don't, don't we, don't have, we don't have a motorcycle, so okay. it's anybody with any type of vehicle. <gasps> Got it. A okay. car, a bike, a tricycle. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Just come on out and uh, 
and hopefully, you know, get some support for yeah. this. People should be back about 12.30, 1 o'clock at Coronado Beach Harley, mm -hmm. and they can show up in their vehicle. Okay. No big deal. You yep. can end it all there and be there for everything. Yep. And to meet all of you, you're lovely. Thank you for being with us Thank this you. morning. Is there a website real quick that we should get out there as well? Jacksonstrainofhope.net. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you for joining us. Okay. You did great. <laughs> All right. And we'll be right back. Actually, Evan, we'll send it over to you in the studio.